Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. Today we're going to be talking about some more ways to fluently read and how to read smoothly is what we're going to focus on today. So I'm going to turn you just a touch so you can see my anchor chart that I'm going to be referring to today. Um, and so it is important as readers, last week we talked about how to read different punctuation marks. We talked about how to read bold print words. We talked about how to read capital letters. And so today we're going to continue talking about how to read well and smoothly, just like the author wants us to. So today we're going to focus on how we can make our reading sound smooth. Okay, so this is um, a lot of times we hear the skill. Okay, whether it is a teacher reading or a parent or an adult that's reading to us, and we're like, how do they do that? Okay, so there's a couple of things I want you to remember. When you're reading, you want to make sure that you stress those important words. So those bold print words that we see, those words in capital letters, the words that are with the uh, exclamation marks, which brings me to this one. You want to read the punctuation marks the way that they are written. Um, that is super important to make your reading smooth. You also want to read like you're talking, okay? You don't want to read monotone because nobody wants to listen to that. You want to make sure that you have some character in your voice, um, just like if you were talking to someone. And last but not least, you want to make your reading sound interesting. And so to model some of those points today, I want to read to you um, or reread to you part of some elephant and piggy books that we read um, a few weeks back when we did our Mo Willem series. And then also I wanted to reference a couple of pages from Pigeon because he's a great one for reading those punctuation marks, right? Um, and so I wanted to show you some different parts in here. So with elephants can't dance, um, you'll notice a lot of the things we've been talking about last week. Um, we see here in their speech bubbles, we see some exclamation marks, right? And there's even a page where he has all capital letters, right? We read that with lots of expression um, and we read it like the character would say it. So I know when I read, um, this book in class, I gave Elephant kind of a, you know, a more silly, bigger, kind of lower voice because he's a big character, right? Elephants are big. So I would say, let's dance when I read this part of the story. Um, and it just adds some character to your reading. It right, makes it more fun, right? So you want to talk like the character would talk and stress those important words and read that exclamation mark, okay? Um, another way that we can do that is, um, or well, another way that this helps our reading sound more smooth is it makes our reading more interesting because wouldn't you agree it's more fun to listen to someone who makes different character voices than someone who just reads everything the same. Their expression stays like this the entire time they read. Their voice doesn't go up or down or louder if, if the book wants it to be louder. So, um, for instance, let's read a couple of pages together. I want to see if you can read it with me. Are you ready? And see if we read it similarly or see if we read it differently. Okay, so we're going to want to make sure we read those exclamation marks. Okay, give you a clue. There's some exclamation marks coming. Read those capital letters, right? Change your voice. Make your voice sound a little different for piggy versus elephant. You may choose a different tone of voice than I do, and that's okay. All right, but change your voice to make it sound interesting and like you're talking, right? All right, so I'm going to just turn to page 20 of this story. I'm going to see if you can read it with me. All right, and this is where Piggy is talking, so I might read it like this. Okay, let's go. Jump with me when I count to three. So notice that my voice, it was like I was talking, right? But I didn't go super duper fast, right? I made sure that my voice kind of came down when I read the period. I paused. Did you pause? Here, you try reading it like Piggy. Are you ready? Here we go. You try.
How'd it go? Did you read it like you were talking? Good job. Okay. So then over here, what does she say? Read these with me because these are easy number words. Are you ready? Do you see those exclamation marks? Here we go. How does she say it? One, two, three. Did you read it with expression? Good job. So today when you are reading, I want you to practice that. Now, I want to reference Pigeon real quick too. Let me grab him and show you what I was going to show you. We're in the book, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Okay, this one is, you know, it's funny. I picked two Mo Willems books um, because <laughs> he does a great job of doing these things so that we can practice. So if you wanted to find a Mo Willems book on um, Epic, excuse me, I couldn't think of what I was trying to say, then um, that would be a good one to practice, right? Because obviously he's really good at writing stories where we can practice these things. Let's practice reading this question. All right, this is the very beginning. The driver said, hey, I need you to watch Pigeon for me for a few minutes. Whatever you do, don't let Pigeon drive the bus. So here are Waltz is in Pigeon, and what does he say? Okay, I want you to listen to how I read it and see if you can read it like I did. Ready? Hey, can I drive the bus? Sounds like I'm talking to you, doesn't it? Right? And that's what makes this book really fun and interesting. So I want you to try it. Ready? You try to read it like Pigeon. Don't forget to move your voice up and down like you're asking a question. Are you ready? Here we go. How'd you do? Did you do good? Excellent. So I want you to practice today with um, with Epic and choosing a story, maybe Mo, maybe a Mo story, or maybe a different one to see if you can practice your smooth reading with these things that we talked about. Remember, to make your reading sound smooth, you wanna stress those important words, make your reading interesting and sound like you're talking, and then don't forget to read that punctuation, okay? So have fun choosing a book on Epic today. Let us know if you have any questions or if you need any help, but I will see you back here later for math. Bye, friends.